Hey guys, how are you? Hi, hi, hi Rachel. Good. Uh, so to start, Vicky, obviously a movie like this that is being shot in the wilderness, as it were, and you can tell that it was not shot on a soundstage that is actually a wilderness. Uh, what were the challenges of bringing that to life while still like, you know, maintaining the story in the midst of the elements? Well, we got very lucky because we shot in Connecticut and so it was close to, you know, reality and life. And we were about uh, 10 minutes outside of town, outside of this town of Stanford in a park called Meanis Park. We shot there for our first two weeks and it didn't rain one day. It was just so perfect. And then thereafter for the next, you know, 15 days, it rained every day. And so we were up in, you know, the um, northern part of the state and in rain and we would like, you know, run out of the van, shoot something, get back in the van. And it was, you know, what, you know, as the rain was coming back, um, it was actually really fun because the whole thing felt like summer camp. And I got so lucky with the cast and crew. Everyone was in it from the very beginning to just make it as wonderful and special as possible. And we were still in COVID protocol, which was really tough on everybody. Um, but luckily mm -hmm. we were outside. So we had a little bit of a reprieve there, but um, it was, I have to say, I would do it all over again tomorrow. It was wonderful. And Catherine, obviously, like I, I always, I'm always fascinated by how people feel about like something they've worked on so hard in a different format coming to life in something like a film. Um, and for you, what was it like kind of getting to see Helen and these characters you've lived with when you wrote the novel come to life on the big screen? It's bliss. It's so much fun. I mean, I'm a huge movie fan anyway, so it's very, like, I feel very starstruck about it to this day. And uh, Vicky very kindly let me come to the set, even though it was COVID protocols. And I got to spend one day pretending to be an extra at the wedding of Ellie Kemper slash Helen, my own main character. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> that was really fun. I got to stand in the background and pretend to drink champagne with Blythe Danner, which is pretty much a life dream. I feel like I can die now. Like that's as good as it gets. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it's so trippy for me to get to see all of it coming to life in this totally different three-dimensional way. I mean, it's sort of one thing in my head. It's a very different thing out in the world and they're both great. And I'm just so happy and grateful about it. Yeah, and I understand the Blythe Danner thing. I saw her one time getting into the jet blue area of an airport and was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. where do I go? What do I do? She um, is a dream. She's phenomenal. <laughs> but speaking of the cast, I, I do, I, I love Ellie Kemper and I love Luke Grimes because this is such a different Luke Grimes and Ellie Kemper because Ellie Kemper is always very positive. She's not in this. And Luke Grimes is a cowboy and he's not a cowboy. He's a doctor with like four pairs of glasses. <laughs> and so for both of you, when you are kind of like having these actors play against type, but like they're playing these characters in such a fun and interesting way, what was your excitement of getting to see their takes on the characters? Um, Vicky, if you want to start and then go to Catherine. Yeah. Well, I was just so excited to work with Ellie um, and Luke because they were not playing like what they've played before, mm -hmm. right? It's just like you said, it's something completely different for both of them. So to dig in and look at, you know, um, like old romantic comedies and and we we ended up looking at a lot of things from the 90s and the 80s that we really liked and we wanted to draw sort of like a nostalgia from. Um, and that those feelings, those epic feelings of like looking at each other across a room and Catherine writes a really um, good moment in m all of her novels where people are looking at each other and you can just feel like the the, the delicious electricity between them. Um, so just to be able to like combine, um, you know, a serious, more serious sort of Ellie with that love piece a and it be serious um, and not jokey and funny, like, you know, how she always ends up having, you know, she doesn't have to be those things because she does them yeah. very well. Um, it was very exciting for me just to kind of explore that with her and with Luke. Yeah, I mean, I think as a person who watches, <laughs> like that's my extent of like life in the movie industry is just watching them. But, um, you know, it is fun. It is so fun to watch somebody do something different that you haven't seen mm -hmm. them do before, right? Because in a way you kind of bring everything you've seen them in before to the table. So you've got Ellie at the beginning of the story, I mean, she's going to go on a journey, right? And she's going to have an arc, but she starts out like pretty grouchy and very down. And there's a lot of darkness there at the start. And, but you're, so you see her like that, but you also remember who she could be. And so it, to me, it kind of brought these layers 
to the experience of watching her. It was like, I got to see this new side of her, but I also like the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, I know you've got it in you. I've seen <laughs> the optimist. You can do this. Got it. I love it. Uh, thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. To see the movie. Bye. Bye. Have a great Thanks one. so much. Bye.